Hey guys, Alex Chamberlain here again, and uh, this is gonna be a SRAM Axis group set review slash reverb electronic dropper slash G2, or I guess the new guide ultimates. So this is coming from a very biased place. This is obviously a, my opinion, but uh, I've been a Shimano guy forever, ridden Shimano brakes for all 14, 13, 14 years of riding bikes. And um, always preferred Shimano drivetrains. I've ridden tram drivetrains in the past, but let's get on with it. So the shifting is, if you're not under load, is very crisp. So this comes from me riding Shimano XTR, the new 12 speed, which is you can shift no matter what under load, uh, anything like it's always smooth. So that could be why this feels rough, but it does feel rough. And then when you are under load and shift, the motor is strong and will shift, but it causes a loud clunk and does not sound pretty. So I don't know. I like how there's no like cable clutter. It keeps the bike really quiet. And it is futuristic. It's a step in the right direction. But uh, for me, I would not spend my money on it. I would go for XTR 12 speed, XT 12 speed, um, pretty much anything Shimano. But compared to the cable pole group set, I think it feels different. It's a lighter actuation at the controller. But I feel like the normal XX1, when you feel a harsh shift, you can kind of modulate it with your thumb where as an electronic shifter, it just shifts for you and you can't really tell it to shift slower or faster. So it just creates this hard clunk. So I'm not the biggest fan, but that's just my opinion. Um, the dropper is definitely cool. If you're switching a lot of bikes and want to have the same dropper or something like, oh, it's not working. You gotta activate the bike or move the bike and then it works. <laughs> Interesting. But, I mean, the dropper's cool, it works. Um, I still think the cable pull is a little bit smoother. Um, obviously, I'm not a big fan of normal reverbs. This is better than normal reverbs, but I would just go out and get like a PNW Bachelor or Fox Transfer if I was gonna get a post right now. And then uh, the G2s, they actually were a huge step up from the normal guides. Um, actually, I didn't hate these brakes, I didn't love them, but they worked for me. I think with a bike with this much like grip that you need a more powerful brake. But let's say if you're riding an XC hardtail or an XC bike that didn't have as much grip on the tires, maybe you would like the less power, more modulation um, because it wouldn't lock the wheel up as easily. And when your bike doesn't have traction, like the wheel can definitely lock up easier if that makes sense. So yeah, um, not, crazy impressed with the group but also coming from a very biased place um, i thought the shifting was fairly good if you didn't have load but the second you put load on it it started being like kind of clunky and finicky um, the post sounds a little clunky when it goes up um, i'm sure it's quality parts and it will be reliable but for me it's just better for me to go the shimano direction it's a lot smoother and uh yeah, that's that's all for now. I'm sorry it's not the most positive review, but that's how things get better. And these are all opinions again. Some people hate Shimano. So uh, if you're a Shimano hater and you don't want any cables, and this is a great way to go, obviously. But uh, yeah, thanks again to Rhythm Bikes for at least letting me try this out and at least letting me get an opinion on the bike. It was really cool of them to let me use these bikes. And um, yeah, I will uh, catch you on the next one.